What's up outdoorsmen? Greg here with Parker and Nelly, and today I'm doing a full review of my 2019 Scentlock kit. Okay, you can you can argue day in and day out about whether or not Scentlock works, whether or not it can beat a deer's nose. I don't know if it if it does or not. I, I'm not interested in the in the scent control argument, but if it gives me any, even a little bit of an advantage, uh, maybe the deer thinks I'm further away, maybe he thinks my scent is a little bit older, he hangs around for 15 seconds longer than he would have if I wasn't wearing scent lock. That's kind of the way I look at it. I do not look at it like it completely makes me invisible to a deer's nose. Again, not really interested in getting into the scent control debate, but the other thing is scent lock makes some dang nice gear. I really like their stuff. Just even if it didn't have activated carbon technology, I'd still like it a whole lot. And I use, I have used Scentlock a lot this season. Uh, I've used it for the past few seasons, but I actually got pretty much all their stuff this, this year for, for the 2019 season. And I really like it. So I'm gonna go over the pieces that I liked, why I liked them, and then the pieces that I don't really like. Uh, and there are some of those. First of all, the base layers. These are the Scentlock heavyweight base layers. These are without a doubt, unequivocally, the best heavyweight base layers of any brand of any manufacturer I've ever used, period. Now, I spent 10 years uh, active duty army. We had a lot of very, uh, very good cold weather gear. These base layers are better than the mil spec stuff that we used and they're, they're just warm. Uh, coupled with the fact that they have activated carbon technology built into it. Whether you buy it or not, it's not important, but it's there, so there's more technology. But they are really, really nice. They're comfortable, they're really warm. I wore these on nearly every hunt. What I really like about them is they have this soft brush exterior and the interior is lined with fleece, like a high nap fleece. It's really nice, they're very warm. I, I wore them a lot jacket same deal or the top same deal what i found myself doing was walking in the, in the woods with nothing but this base layer on and it was literally zero degrees when we walked in on it on one morning and i didn't want to overheat so i just wore this top in it's got that fleece interior with the with the brushed fleece exterior so it's it's awesome big 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 fan of these scent lock heavyweight base layers i would wear these in any temperature super big fan go out and buy a set of these next set that i really really liked a lot is the scent lock wind brace this is a kind of a high nap fleece exterior with uh, the same uh, high nap fleece interior that comes in the heavyweight base layers so this wind brace is designed to be exactly what it says it's got a wind membrane in here so it blocks all the wind it 100 percent works it's amazing there were three or four hunts where I, uh, where I rode my bike in, uh, way deep, three miles plus into this public land we were hunting, and the exterior and the only layer I was wearing was, well, I had the, the heavyweight base layers and then I had the wind brace on on top of that, and these, this stopped all the wind. I cannot say enough good things about this wind brace. In, I'm gonna say, 30, from 35 to 50, these things really, really shine. And then you could take it even lower if you layered something on top of it, which, which I did. I, I layered their heavyweight stuff and then some of my other stuff on top of it. And it's super, super warm. So out of all the scent lock pieces that I have, uh, the wind brace set and the, the heavyweight base layer set, easily my two favorite pieces. Um, I love this set. Everybody should get a set just like this. The next thing I'm gonna talk about is the all season set from, I, I believe they call it the Tactics. It's a, it's a jacket and a pants. It's kind of like a like a brushed fleece exterior. It's not meant to be super insulated. I, I, I think the temperature range is from like 40 to 60 is what they advertise it. I think you'd be comfortable in this in 40 with just some minimal layers, but that high 40s to low 60s temperature is fantastic for this. I mean, really, really good. I wore this on several hunts and I'm just a fan. You know, it's it's really smart the way they make it. The, uh, the They work well, it's comfortable, it's very quiet, it makes no noise. I mean, it's totally silent. Got pockets in the right places. It's just a really good set. The uh, I believe it's called the Tactics from Scentlock. Big fan, I like it. 
Not quite, I don't love it quite as much as I like the wind brace and the, the undergarments, but I like it a lot. So a couple of pieces that I'm not a real big fan of. Uh, this all season head cover. It could just be because I have a tiny head, but it just didn't fit me that well. The, the, the face was real floppy. It didn't, it didn't stay connected to my face like I wanted it to. And it was warm, but it just, I don't know. It didn't really work that great for me. The way I ended up using this, honestly, is I turned it upside down. I put my head through the face hole and I used it like a neck gaiter. So the neck has a cut on it. You can see it sticking up there. So I put that over my nose and I'd wear it basically like that. I used it as a neck gaiter and it worked really, really well for a neck gaiter. So there you go, multi-use item. Piece that I didn't like, they're heavyweight. This is called the Morphic jacket and pant. I didn't like it. I'll start with the pants. First of all, this is an absolute deal breaker for me. They're heavyweight, they're, they're designed to be heavyweight pants, but they don't zip up. And part of it is because they put the cargo pocket on the side of the leg. I just did a first light review where I talked about their heavyweight pants or their solitude set pants and they took the pocket and they moved it on the front of the leg, which allows them to do a full side zip. It's genius. When you put these cargo pockets on the side, you eliminate the ability to do a full side zip. So this only goes up to about knee height. It just didn't work. Um, I hated it. Putting this on at the tree over my rubber boots, it did not work. So. Uh, not a big fan of that that design choice. And also, I just didn't think they were all that warm. For being their heavyweight, kind of bitter cold element uh, or piece that they designed, I didn't think it was warm enough. Comparing this to the reason I have this up here, this is my APX G2 by Russell stuff. This is the white out set. This is their heavyweight stuff. I've had this for 10 years and I absolutely love it. I felt like this was much warmer than the scent lock competing pieces. Uh, I, I, I won't use these again. Um, in, in more moderate weather, like 40s, they would work, but I have other scent lock pieces that work just as well in that temperature range. So not a big fan of the Morphic pant. I, I don't really recommend it. The Morphic jacket, this is the, this is the top to the, the pants. Again, it's, it's better than the pants. It's warm, it's, it comes with this vest that uh, zips in and out, which I like. It's, it's bulky and it's, it's heavy. And it's, it's actually heavier than my, my 10 year old kit from Russell. So heavier and bulkier and it's not as warm. So I'm not a huge fan of the, of the Morphic set. I think there are better uh, cold weathered garments out there than, than the Morphic set. So that's it. Hopefully that review helped uh, get a look at some of Scentlock stuff. I really like what Scentlock is doing. Uh, I like the technology. Uh, they make their clothes really, really well. The, the construction and the quality is off the charts. Big fan of it. Um, some of their pieces are amazing. Other pieces are meh, but that's probably the case with any manufacturer. So hopefully this review helps. Go out and get their heavyweight base layers and get that wind brace suit if you're a fan of Scentlock. I love those two pieces.